Will Biden's anti-gun orders make you a felon? This is our topic report. It's the story that I chose to start off with. This is Biden gun control action. That's the topic that we're going to be looking at here. And we first link up here. We have Biden's executive actions could turn millions into felons. This is from Free Beacon. White House taps gun control activist to lead ATF, and that's that's wonderful. Uh, that's 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 the, the the brief there. But a little bit more to this. President Biden issued a sweeping executive actions on Thursday, restricting access to popular firearms, a move that could turn millions of Americans into felons overnight. And uh, this is, uh, let's see, Biden says, this is an epidemic. Oh, everything's an epidemic. The, the, yeah, the, the epidemic that's going on is actually the attempt by corporate nationalists and, and, their, and their government allies to uh, control all of us. The move faced swift backlash from gun rights advocates and industri- industry groups. The Firearms Regulato- Regulatory Accountability Coalition, the FRAC, which represents pistol brace makers, told the Washington Free Beacon Biden will face legal and electoral consequences if he goes through with attempting to ban the popular device. The Biden administration must be unaware that the Congressional Research Service cited estimates of 10 to 40 million pistol pistol braces in circulation. Travis Stevens White, the group's president, said, Aside from the legal problems, if the Biden administration is preparing to issue an administrative edict that has the potential to impact that number of gun-owning Americans, then they also need to be prepared to deal with the electoral consequences. Never mind the, uh, the consequences of trying to enforce that rule when you have... It's another one of these... When, whenever you have any type of government, any type of authority really in general, that is willing to put into some sort of law, regulation, standard something which is fundamentally realistically unenforceable you know that they mean bad things they mean bad very very bad controlling things let's look at some of the other headlines here related to this how the uh, how the world is is dealing with this news from the blaze we have jen pasaki said the biden does not believe the false statements he made about background checks that's great white house press secretary jen Psaki told reporters that the president that President Joe Biden did not actually believe that verifiably false statements about background checks he made during his speech on gun control. And that's good to know. So he doesn't believe his own lies, apparently. That's that's, that what, that's pretty much what you're saying here. And let's There's old Jen there. Stop tech censorship. All right. Thank you for the pop-up, Blaze. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters that President Joe Biden did not actually believe the, most people don't know it. You walk into a store to buy a gun, you have a background check, but if you go to a gun show, you can buy whatever you want. No background checks. <laughs> That's not true. I've been to gun shows. And, uh, yeah, you have to have a background check. They, they, they can't sell you a gun if they don't have the... And if they don't have the equipment, then you have to fill out paperwork and you have to... Well, it's, it's a rigmarole. It's, it, yeah. So they have to have their little background equipment lined up uh, well in advance. And then just uh, briefly, the other orders here we got. I support Biden's gun orders. Don't support House background checks. That's from that's from your your Mr. Joe Manchin trying to play both sides of the universe there, Senator Joe Manchin. So he he supports turning millions of human beings into uh, felons because they have a pistol brace. Biden calls gun violence in America an, quote, international embarrassment, unquote. Imagine the sitting president that is willing to try to demonize all of its own citizens that dare to believe that they should be able to defend themselves on an international stage feeding our enemies giving our enemies the ammunition they need to further delegitimize america as a people to demoralize and delegitimize america as a people that's what you're facing here we're going to go on to the next story so keep watching